Hello friends, welcome back to VS Academy. In this session, we are going to see a very useful, you know, use case where we are talking about multiple ways of accessing our Mule REST API. Okay. So let's say this Mule REST API has you know, API specification available in the endpoint exchange. And since if it, you know, uh, you know, API specification is there in the you know exchange. Definitely, you'll be having REST connector available over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can download as a jar also that connector. Okay. So let's see how many ways we can do, you know, we can use. So, first way is simple, which is, you know, via HTTP requester, we can access this new API. Second option we have is download that REST connector via exchange and install in your any parts of your project. Okay. The third piece that if let's say you 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 know you, you, let's say you are not going to use requester HTTP requester operation and you don't have access to the exchange. So let's say somebody gives you the connector chart. Okay, we can add that you know uh, rest connector via local jar also. Okay, so let's see all these three options and quickly. But first, let me show you which mule API I'm talking about. So let me jump on to my Postman. Okay. So I have a simple API, which is, you know, deployed in my cloud app, and it has a, you know, header parameter called authorization, which is, I'm just passing the value right now. I'm not applied any policy, but it has a header parameter. It has a query parameter. Okay. So if I trigger this, okay. So if I trigger this API, I'll get some dummy data. Okay. So this is what my API is, new API available. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try to access this new API in multiple ways. So let's go to my any point studio. First, create new project. So let me go to the project. I will say, you know, this is my API, you know, and it's an event experience API. So I will say, consumer, okay, and I will say, one. Wow. Okay, so I create three projects basically. So let me add this project to my work instead. So, Now we are in the project. Right? Simple, we'll drag a listener over here for that road and we use the request of component here. Okay. Instead of my now, the point from the other is because and now so we'll go here. Let's go to the requester component. And here, go ahead. And here, we first configure the requester component. So, our case part is TPI, protocol is STP. And here, port number is. So this is what the configuration here. Okay. Um, here in the path, we are in account. Okay, if you know this here, so this part is the API and this part is the account. And now I need to pass the query parameter. Okay, and I'm going to pass the authorization. So it first it's in copy the authorization. Now in the header section. Value has to be current. This is the first way. Let me go ahead and save this. Okay, let's run this and see. This is the first access.
Chandrajit Pawan, local host. Now we are trying to get the data for announcements. You can see that wire is requested, you know, operation. We are able to access the new, new data. Okay. Now let's go to the second option. So we we'll create one more project here, separate project. Okay. And we'll just make sure. We can add now request connected via. So we can go to the exchange here. Okay, and here we can set uh, our SPI bank specification in exchange. Okay, since I say there is a connector already created for service connector to be created, if I go to my exchange over here, you can see that. You'll find look for connector over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add it to our project. We get installed on our project, and you can see now you'll find there are four operations available there. Okay. Two for accounts, two for customers. Now, best practice is right if we have the REST connector available in the exchange, first go for the REST connector. And then, if it's not available, then go for uh, HTTP request operation. Okay. So let me drag now the data account operation here and we'll go and drag the listeners. Okay. So let me start this project first. Now, configure your listener. Okay. And here, this time is your account one. And the data operation <coughs> so can have to trying to configure this connector. Please remember this is the host must be one. So let's place one by one. This part is the here. Okay. Operation we can pass in the coming value that time. So to start it has to be capital or CPT. Port number default port number for us. I think it is 50 and it goes from the board. Okay. Go back to the now. You can the connection in C with the variable to connect to this host on okay. And this one, so this is the flexibility you get it from connector. This you won't get it in directly per time practice. From your SDK request. Okay, so now almost we have configured our get accounts operation on our SDK. Okay, let's save this. Save everything and run it again. So this is the second approach we are coming. Meanwhile, so I will create a new project for third operation. Okay, so go ahead and see. Via local card. Okay, so let's say we don't have access to the exchange. Okay, we don't have credentials. Now somebody gives you a jar. How to get the jar? Let me go to my exchange here. And if you go to the download option for this particular connector, it will give you a jar file. Okay, so this jar file I already downloaded on a desktop. We we'll use that. Okay, so this. Once the jar is available with you, what we can do is create this project. Meanwhile, this is also getting deployed. Now, let me delete that project to my working set. Here you can see in the new palette, we don't have any connector right now. Okay, so I'll show you how bad it is. So first, let's drag this network here. Okay. Before that, let's test it. So this is deployed now. Let's deploy it. Let's go to our postman. And this time, I'll say account one. You can see the output. Okay. This one we are trying to 
I know. <clears throat> Find the second option, which is our stem step, which we have downloaded in installed from Christian. Okay. Now, third option. Okay. So, from the local jar inside it. And so, let me stop this first. Stop this. Now, first, we'll go to our. Okay. okay right click on your process. Okay. Let's see why it's going there. Okay. okay. So, now, right click on your project and so manage modules. Okay, now you see we have only two modules because we bought. Now click on this and say from Maven, and here there is an option. Okay, so this is this values are coming. In default values. Now we have option to install local dependent. Go ahead and first select the chart. Which chart we have downloaded on our desktop, right? Let's just connect the chart. Open it and say install. Okay. So you will get a message saying that successfully installed on your local Maven repository. That means it's installed in your .m2 folder. Okay, on your machine. Now the moment uh, that got installed, you will get a dependency ticket here. And now you say OK. OK. Now see here, it's got added here. Now say apply and close, it will be installed in your project. So this is the third option. Okay. Now from here, we know that how to access. So you can go ahead and drag. OK. And here, you know how to configure this. So here, our base part is API. Authorize one, this one for whatever value you want. Protocol that is accessibility. Port number 15. And port number 4. I'll take it from here. In the query parameter, account type is your query parameter. And this is what the flexibility get it when we work with the rest connectors and set up as a question. So if you are using a request, right, you need to know everything. Okay, what is your resource? Okay, what query parameters, what header parameters are required. Here automatically the query parameters header parameters are populated if you use the rest connector. So best practices you should check first for your new API. You know, is there a rest connector available in the exchange? Get the risk connector, use the operation from there, and these operations will come automatically okay, based on your resource and how many methods you have there in the there in the okay. 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 Deployed and this run for the kind. Oh, that is true. I have given. Okay, this right. This one is again. Just connected also using SDP. Right now, if I go and say Twitter, Twitter, and you can see proper out. So these are the three ways you can, you know, connect to your API. If it is the it is any specific and available in your screen, then these are the two options. And in the rest connector. If they are getting to the right, if they go here, if you read it, it's just like our ETH secret right now, but you have not applied any policy. You can go to your register of the here you can pass the parameters, 
when you are attacked. Okay. So that's all from this session. Hope you liked it. Okay. Please hit the bell icon, hit the like button, and share with your friends. Please subscribe the channel also if you are not. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.